baby, baby, oh. All right, okay. And next we have up here. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. I told you, I'm going I'm to I'm put a few uh, videos out for y'all today, especially y'all who are struggling with addiction and know how much time you had to do or if you just got out of jail for addiction. This is the trap you have fallen into when it comes to our government, our, our businesses, who we do uh, business with, who are running our country. Uh, let's you know. Let's talk about that. But this is the executive director of San Jose's Police Officer Association has been fired following her arrest for allegedly importing drugs from overseas and distributing them throughout the country. Now, what y'all say? Y'all think this country need you? They you want a revolution? Well. You know, this, <laughs> oh Lord, 64-year-old Joanne Segovia was charged with attempting to import illegal synthetic opioid drugs from overseas, especially, I mean specifically a form of fentanyl. You heard me? Investigators say she used her personal and office computers to order the drugs and agreed to distribute them elsewhere in the United States. This is what we got to deal with. The San Jose Police Association said that they had no knowledge of what their 20-year employee was doing. The POA has reportedly completed the first phase of its internal investigation into federal drug charges against Segovia and has terminated her employee. Now, you notice that everybody got that same answer? Way up here in Wisconsin, our police association guy got caught forging names, signing other city officials' names, to documents and checks and stuff like that. And guess what? They said the same thing. Oh, we didn't know. He didn't do no time in jail because they said he was too sick. See, this is the game they play. This is the game they play. What do they have in common? White men, white men created this madness. I mean, let's just keep it 100. As a result, the president said, we have terminated her employment. The POA, which is the police association, would not elaborate on what findings in that investigation led to the firing. When ABC7 reached out to Segovia's attorney, but has not yet heard back. Drug smuggling allegations against police union exec hurts trust. You, you think... And that's what the former police auditor says. Listen, those of us who have lived this long enough, we already know. And if if we don't, it's because we don't want to know. We don't want to see. What's that line, that scripture? They say I see, yet they remain blind. She's the head of the police association. The police union. Funny this stuff happens all over the country. All over these United Snakes. If it's one thing that we are united in. It's 
for being hypocrites. Tell me what y'all think. I mean, I, you know, and I'm not saying this because I hate this country. My ancestors built this country. But when you wrong, you just wrong. And you need to be held accountable for the wrong you do. Not hide it. Not burn books. Not run away from the truth. Because we can't never fix it like that. And some of these great brilliant minds that's coming up Black and white. Once they exposed to the truth, they have the propensity, the courage, and maybe just the wherewithal to solve this nightmare that we call America. What y'all think? All right, if you like what you hear, please subscribe. Please share the channel. Um, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. How about that?